In this video, we'll take a look at the Jouet Starter Pack session for Bitwig. You can install Bitwig 8-Track by using the free download coupon included in your Jouet box. Make sure that your Jouet is plugged in and start Bitwig. Go to the Jouet website and in the support section, download the Bitwig script for the Jouet. Unzip the file and copy the script file into the proper folder, depending on whether you're on a Mac or PC. Now go back to Bitwig. In Option, Preferences, go to Controllers and click on Detect Available Controllers. The Jouet is automatically recognized and is ready to be used. Close the window and open the Starter Pack session you downloaded from the Jouet website. It has various custom sounds for the instrument's modules and FX controls for these sounds. Let's explain one of the unique features of the Jouet and how it allows us to play multiple instruments together. The Jouet sends MIDI messages, like notes or controls, through its USB connection. The MIDI messages can be transmitted through 16 channels. This is like having 16 different cables within your MIDI connection. Your software or equipment is then set to receive and respond to all the channels or only one of them. For instance, by default, the pads send MIDI on channel 1 and the synth on channel 4. In the session, the instrument we want to play with the pads is set to receive only from channel 1 and the one we want to play with a synth only from channel 4. Now, each module controls a different instrument. With only one jouet, you actually have several independent MIDI controllers. Let's now see how the modules work in this session. The pads has 16 different samples with velocity. The synth has octave up and down buttons, sustain on off, and it can alternate between two banks of sounds. The first bank has one sound, the second bank has four. When you select the second bank, you can get the extra sounds by clicking on the second synth channel strip and moving the XY cursor. Each corner is a different sound. This also applies to the scaler and the fretboard modules. The fretboard has octave buttons and two sound banks. It also has the special bending feature when you move a string on the vertical axis. The scaler has octave buttons, the sound bank switches, a bubble for momentary control, and a strip for the scaler effect level control. The scaler also has the Y control activated, so you can modulate the sound when pressing a note by moving your finger on the vertical axis. The bubbles gives you expressiveness and temporary effect when you move them. The effect stops when you release the bubble. The top buttons are on-off switches for general effects. You can check the effects being used in the control strip in Bitwig. The strips give you four different levels of FX control. The rounds have the same effect as the strips, so you can choose which module you prefer to use. The area offers a global effect. It is activated when you press it 
and has two dimensions, vertical and horizontal. Each of them control a different parameter of the effect. A lot more advanced features are available by using the Jouet Editor, which are explained in another video.